I was born in Africa and lived in four different countries in that continent before I ended up in Rhodesia, where a vicious civil war began the month we arrived. In Rhodesia, I discovered and fell in love with rowing. And rowing became the most significant passion of my life. Rowing is about serenity, it's about escapism. Growing up in a civil war in Africa really prepared me for anything in the future. He came away as a hardened character, very unmotivated, very powerful. Anything for the future was never going to be difficult. When I first came to the US, I really learned Silicon Valley. And I ended up at Oracle, Siebel, BEA, a number of other software companies. There was a moment in my career where I realized what we were selling didn't really work. And I spent a lot of my time with customers selling to them and then apologizing to them to the point I coined myself the chief apologetic officer. And honestly, I'd had enough of that. That became the genesis of Aptos. And I went to Niha, a dear friend of mine who we'd worked in many companies in Kent. Kirk invited us over to his house and we were outside sitting around his fire pit discussing the merits of starting a company and we wrote down the reasons we wanted to do it, and it was we wanted to build applications that drove value for customers, and we wanted to work with each other. And we all decided to start Aptus. I had four kids under 11 years old, mortgage. My dad worked pretty much 24 hours a day. He turned his bedroom into his office, and the fact that he was able to kind of pursue Aptus, take that risk while maintaining a happy home was pretty incredible. He really did never give up. Kirk always wanted Aptus to be more than just a company, and I think the name Aptus is more than just a name. The root word apt, which stems from kind of aptitude, and then us, which essentially means speed. It's really got true meaning behind it, which sums up the vision for the company. Out the blocks, we were closing companies like Symantec, Thomson Financial, Delta Airlines, Alcatel Lucent, the who's who, of the Fortune 500 were buying from Aptus. And what was amazing was that VCs were interested in investing in Aptus, even though we did not want to take the money. In fact, one of them said, we defy gravity. And this term, the rocket ship, came about because Aptus defied gravity. 18 months after we started the company, in 2008, the world changed. There was a huge financial collapse. And the amazing thing is, Aptus accelerated its growth. And then as always, the market changed. We had a very large software company become a formidable competitor. We sat back, we had our strategy, and our growth accelerated. And we hit 100 million in revenue, and then 200 million and more. When I look at the evolution of Aptus and what we had to confront, I realized that my childhood had taught and prepared me for this. The pain you experience with rowing, the fear you experience in the Civil War, the family that becomes important. There have been significant contributing factors to helping Aptus be successful. When you row in a single, you can only go so fast. And when you start to have other oarsmen in a boat with you, you can significantly increase your speed. But what's really important is to be working together as a team. And there is so much pain and so much joy that the team becomes your family. It's poetic. Yes, we will have challenges. When you give everything you have, beautiful things happen to you. You have a whole new experience and journey to look forward to. Aptus, we are family.